Trophy Hunters TV is brought to you by Ambush Firearms, Big and J Long Range Attractants, Kawasaki Mule Pro FXT, Nikon, the leader in sport optics, available at Academy Sports and Outdoors, Ultimate Wild, and Kodiak Series Cameras. Capture the wild. Well, I'm not a morning person, but there's something about being out there before daylight. You know, it's just, it's different for sure. It's just, it's hard to explain. After 43 years, I just realized that Buddy and I have never sat in a blind together for me to shoot a deer. How does that happen? We hadn't even considered it, I guess. He's always dropped me off somewhere and I do my thing and he goes off and does his and me back up later on. So it works so far. The first morning we went out looking for a particular deer, we uh, sat there for a long time. Saw some does, few fawns. It was pretty boring actually. Um, and it's not normally like that. That morning just wasn't meant to be for sure. Second morning we went out, it was gorgeous. Uh, sun coming up with the oranges and purples and just beautiful, beautiful. It was cold, it was real cold, but it wasn't too bad. You could tell the sun was gonna be really nice that day. One thing I have found out about Buddy is that he always parks as far from the blind as he can possibly get and then we have to walk in the dark through high grass, through whatever, to get to the blind. But he just wants to make sure that, I guess, the deer can't see the truck. The morning ended up being cold. Clouds rolled in, cloudy, but, you know, at least the, we knew that the deer were gonna come in, or we hoped that the deer were gonna come in that time. We spotted this buck and he was very, very nice. I thought, that, you know, this is the one that I want to get. But of course, he wasn't going to cooperate. He was scraping up against a tree. Every place he walked, there was something blocking it from my view. It just didn't look like that one was going to work out.
getting in the blind, sitting down, getting everything ready, trying to be as quiet as you possibly can, of course. And then you just sit there and just wait for everything to wake up. It's incredible. Just a, a beautiful way to start the day. Usually by this time in the season, you don't have all the, the leaves on the trees and you don't have the tall grass or anything like that to deal with. But this year, there's been a lot of rain for a change and uh, everything is just really thick. So it's hard to see a lot of things. We spotted this buck and he was very, very nice. I thought, that, you know, this is the one that I want to get. This buck was moving through the grass. At times you couldn't even hardly see the tips of its horns. Uh, he didn't know how lucky he was. We kept watching and watching this buck, hoping to get a, a chance at a shot, but we didn't, and then all of a sudden, he walked up to another buck, and they were, the fight was on. It was a really hard fight between these two bucks. It's not, it wasn't a play thing like what you normally see. They, they were in it serious. They broke up, and the next thing I knew, he's walking right towards the blind. He kept, com kept coming straight to us, and all I could think of is, please step broadside so I can get a shot. had my scope on him. He was in the crosshairs, but he wasn't cooperating. And then I hear Buddy tell me, stop, stop, don't shoot that one. There's another one coming up. I thought, how could it be any better? But it was. Oh, there he is. Go ahead and get your gun up and let's get ready. As soon as we get a shot in, we're going to take a shot. I thought, yep, he is better. This is incredible. But of course, there were things blocking him too. So I had to wait and wait and wait for him to get into a position where I thought I could shoot him. thought, this has got to be it. This has got to be it. I'm never going to get another chance at this one. He's got to stay in front of me where I can get a shot. He kept coming closer and closer, but he wouldn't go stop so I could get a shot. I kept watching him. He's chasing the doe. And then, of course, he ends up leaving. You can't see him at all. So here we are, sitting and waiting again. Hope he comes back, but I just don't know. So finally, the buck comes back. I'm not gonna take any chances. I want to make sure he's full broadside where I can get a good shot and he's gonna go down. Come on, here he comes, here he comes over there to, on the left side. Get your gun, get your gun out, get it ready. He's coming, here he goes, you see him on the left there? 
Okay, Mom, there he is. He's broadside right now. Go ahead and take him. Okay. Go ahead and take him. As more and more time was going by, I got more anxious, had to settle myself down just a little bit, take the gun off safety, take a big breath. Buddy's coaching me along the way saying, okay, you can do it. Wait until he gets broadside, take your time, do all the right things. And um, that's exactly what I did. Good shot. Oh my gosh. Good shot, Mom. Good shot. Oh my gosh. All right. No, you're okay. You're you sure? okay. Yeah, sure? the deer's down. The deer's down. Oh my gosh, right there. Look at that buck. Oh. Ooh. He's a ni nice buck. Real nice buck. Man. Good buck, Mom. Finally, finally. <laughs> After Ooh. 43 years <laughs> hunting and blind with Debbie here, she finally <laughs> kills a deer with me. <laughs> <laughs> That's Good amazing. Job, Good amazing. Job. This is the first time I've ever been a blind with her. And shot a deer. She shot a deer. First time for everything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> After that many years, After it's that. about time, right? Exactly. <laughs> of course, I wanted to get out immediately, run down there and see what was what he looked like up close. And Buddy's picking up everything, getting everything ready to go. And I'm like, come on, let's go. Let's go see it. The blind was up on a little bit of a platform, not very high. But when we got down on the ground, I couldn't see the deer at all. So there was all this high grass and brush and all kinds of stuff in between us. And I'm walking through this thick stuff, trying to get there, hurrying, and couldn't see the deer at all. The whole time I'm thinking, I want to see this deer. I want to see what he looks like. And I couldn't see it at all. Trying to walk through that thick stuff was really hard. Um, carrying everything, of course, with me. Just couldn't wait to get there. When we finally got there, all I could think of, he's right there. He's right there. This is really my deer. Really the first deer that I've ever shot with Buddy being with me. This is just so incredible. Boy, look at the pores on that deer. Good grief, look that, at that thing. That, that, look at the tiny look. on all those tines. That's, that's really remarkable. Look at that, look at that. Oh my goodness. Good deer. Good curl, look how pretty. And of course he had so much character. Just beautiful buck, nice and big, beautiful dark horns. It was perfect. Beautiful buck. Oh, very nice. Plenty of mass here. Look how that's all curled around. This is, this is great. He's a big buck. Tell you what, let's go get the truck and let's load him. Okay. Take him back and show him off. What do you think? <laughs> that sounds like a deal. What do you think, guys? Tell Grandma, good job, Grandma. Thank you, baby. Seeing Buddy's face while I'm holding up the deer and he's taking pictures was worth every minute of sitting there and waiting for this buck to come out and get broadside. Uh, after 43 years, I guess uh, we finally did something really, really right. It was great. It was so much fun.
Closed captioning for Trophy Hunters TV is brought to you by MB Ranch King Blinds. This year, Buddy's had a little bit of time on his hands. He's been able to take different people out hunting because he shot a really nice buck last year. So he, he's good for a couple years. I've been, I've been hunting a long time. And in order to sit there and kill the quality of the deer that we kill on this place, which is a low fence place, it's, it's just incredible. When I, when I was down here a couple weeks ago working on blinds, that they, Glenn and, Glenn and Phil said there was a buck that was out here in the pasture that uh, they said that I was looking for a big basket case and they said they knew just the right buck that was for me. So I didn't know what to think on this deer hunt. Well, sitting in the blind, really just watching, watching silhouettes of deer and, and uh, not knowing if this deer is gonna show up. It's just, uh, I mean, you, you get a rush anytime you look at deer. That's just part of it. You know, just the excitement. If, 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 there's, if there's no excitement in it, then you wouldn't be doing it. As the sun came up, the animals just started pouring out on the roads. They were coming out of the brush from everywhere. We had, we had bucks, we had does, from fawns to 12 point bucks coming just within, within 30 yards of us. That 12 point buck is, is one nice buck and uh, I love to shoot that 12 point, but he's, uh, he's six and a half years old and he, uh, he needs to grow another year. Most people would shoot a six and a half year old deer, but we, we try to shoot our deer at seven and a half years old. It's just, uh, that's just kind of one of the rules that, uh, that we have on the ranch. Well, when that deer, when he finally sit there and uh, decide, I didn't know if he was getting ready to leave the area and he started walking to where some brush was and he finally just stopped and uh, gave me a shot and I was ready to pull the trigger. Whenever I pulled the trigger, the, the deer, he sit there and he reared up and he ran, and I knew I made a good shot, he reared up and he just, he just bolted and uh, ran about 25 yards and he was, he was down. I, he was, uh, he, he didn't know what hit him. Man, that is a big deer. That, that's, a, that's a good buck. It's not a really good buck, Jason. After I shot, I, I, I couldn't wait to get out of the blind and, and go look at him and see what he was. You know, I knew he was a good deer, but when I got there to him, he was just, uh, I, I just, he was an incredible buck. He was, he, was, he was just a good buck. He was the best buck I've got. Hey, look at the size of this buck. Beautiful deer. When he walked out, when he walked out, he was just, he, he, he just incredible deer. He just, he's what I've been looking for. Big basket rack, just beautiful deer. Just got a lot of mass, good tine length, just beautiful deer. 
Couldn't ask for anything better than this one. This is a nice, just beautiful buck. Nice deer. There's no way to express the feeling of what, what a deer like that, when you're standing over a deer like that, it just, that's, it's the best feeling in the world for a hunter. He, it, it just, it's, it's the best deer of your lifetime, and you're not sure if you'll ever get another one, and it's just, it's good to have the opportunity to sit there and have a deer like this. Trophy Hunters TV was brought to you by Ambush Firearms, Big and J Long Range Attractants, Kawasaki Mule Pro FXT, Nikon, the leader in sport optics, available at Academy Sports and Outdoors, Ultimate Wild, and Kodiak Series Cameras, Capture the Wild.